In this video I'm going to compare the reactions of benzene and alkenes with bromine. So I've written up on the board there the reaction between benzene and bromine to make bromobenzene and HBr and I'm going to use ethene as my example of an alkene but what we're going to say about alkenes uh, is relevant to all alkenes. So when ethene reacts with bromine we make 1,2-dibromoethane. So straight away you can see a difference in the type of reaction. This is a substitution reaction. Whereas this reaction is an addition reaction. So straight away we've got a difference. The next thing to mention is if we can remember from our benzene theory that this reaction requires a catalyst so it requires um, a halogen carrier catalyst for example we'll go for FeBr3 so this won't work without this catalyst this one no catalyst is needed. So if you were carrying these reactions out, you would notice that there would be a decolorization of bromine here. Without the catalyst, nothing would happen in this reaction. It's only when the halogen carrier catalyst is present would the reaction take place and the bromine would be decolorized. So what are the reasons for the difference in reactivity? Why are alkenes far more reactive than benzene rings? The difference in reactivity is all to do with how the pi electrons are arranged in the molecule. So in a benzene molecule, the pi electrons are delocalized. And so because of that, they are spread out. Remember, delocalized means shared between more than two carbons. So they are spread out across the molecule. And so the electron density is lower. And the knock-on effect of that is, if you think about the electron pair that makes this bond between this covalent bond between these two bromine atoms, this is a non-polar molecule because the identical electronegativities of the two BRs. The, there is no attraction, there is not, not sufficient enough um, repulsion from the pi electron cloud to generate um, a dipole in this molecule. So this remains non-polar. And it's only when the catalysts brought in is able to generate the electrophile and then when you've got the um, BR plus remember electrophile then you can get the attraction you can get the pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud coming out without the catalyst that can't happen so if we look at the alkene on the other hand this has got its pi electrons are shared between two carbons so the pi electrons are localized and because of that the electron density is high. Hope you can see this. So high electron density in alkenes and because of that the pair of electrons in that covalent bond between the two bromines they will be repelled by the high electron density here and that will generate a dipole, so that will be slightly negative. That end will be slightly positive. And because we've got this dipole, the pi electron pair will be attracted to this bromine and it will break the bond.